I recently graduated from the University of St. Andrews in Scotland and I wanted to do a tour of my dorm room now that I'm no longer there. I lived in Matintosh Hall in a single room. One of the great things about Matintosh Hall are the high ceilings and big windows. Um, some of them have great views of the sea, especially on the higher floors. Um, to the right, you can see my bed, my desk, little bookshelf, and my pin board, which I've proudly planned out myself. Um, then next to the door, we have a wardrobe and a little side table. On the top of the wardrobe is where I stored my um, suitcases for storage. Um, every time you move, you have to patch up your stuff and then bring them back the following year in, year in September. And then there's a sink. Macintosh Hall actually has shared bathroom facilities. So there's a couple of bathrooms on each floor, but each room has its own sink. So there's a mirror above the sink and a little light. Um, and below the sink, I just store all my shower um, bits, which I just take with me when I want to take a shower in the evening. Um, and then we have the beautiful view here. Um, I was lucky enough to have a really nice view of the sea and the beach and um, yeah, lots of trees and greenery, um, which is one of the reasons why I stayed, stayed in this room for two years. Um, but it really is kind of, a, you have not much control over whether or not you're going to get a room with a good view, especially in the first year. Um, and then Coming around, we have the bookshelf again, the desk, there's a little desk lamp, and a telephone, which you can use to call basically any other uh, university building. Um, and also you can call from room to room, so my friends would often use it to call each other. Um, underneath the desk I have, you saw a garbage um, den, trash den. Um, the floor is uh, carpeted, and then here in the wardrobe we have a longer space for hanging dresses and then a shorter space for hanging um, shirts and stuff and then a little shelf at the top and two shelves at the bottom. I actually attached a little hook so I put my laundry bag on the hook there on the left. And we're back to the view again and um, I wanted to show you something here which I did because obviously there's not much privacy when the window faces the street, so I attached a little um, paper clip to a little hoop loop in that I made with a piece of thread, and that way I could attach my curtain to the other side of the shutter, and I didn't have to constantly take out both sides of the curtain each, each time I wanted to close the window, which was quite handy. So as you can see, it's quite a bit darker, um, and it gives you that privacy that you need. Especially in the evening when you have the light on in the room and then everything is visible from the outside. Um, and then back around, just a little overview again. It's a very cute little room. I, I really loved it and I enjoyed my time here.